Uh, hello, myself, because I'm the only one who's watching this right now. Because it's for me and for you, but mainly for me. My mom should be on here very soon. Whatever the case is. She was like, unbox, share this special moment with everyone. And I was like, got you, lady. Well, technically, my sister said so. And my mom, she was like, yeah, you should do that. And I was like, I will. And if you notice, I look like I got makeup on. Don't worry. It's just filter. I want to change it because I want to have the mustache. But I'm going to work with this right now because, you know, it gives my hair some colors. So, I am an avid buyer of YRU shoes. If you don't know what that is, Google it because I ain't going to tell you about it. So, you wonder where I get all my platform shoes from? That's where I get them from. And I have a huge addiction to them. I have a huge addiction to platform shoes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox my latest ugh, package of shoes and just so you guys know i usually buy shoes and they usually come in boxes this big because i have an addiction so i usually buy at least five at a time so here we go i already kind of pre-tore it open because I don't have nails and stuff like that. So we're gonna get this open. Oy, it's very, very hard. Ooh, these feel light. I hope I, dang, talk about damage. As long as the shoe ain't damaged though. Why did you give me this ugly box? Oh, that's cause these didn't come with box. Micro pack. Well, I don't know the names of these. Usually they have the names on them, but they don't have them this time. I got what I call my frocks. What's up, why are you? I know they're tagged. I got my frocks. Ooh, babe, can you bring me my other my other frocks? So these are super duper cute. I got these before in the what is it? Leopard print, which my hubby's gonna get. It's um on top of the white shelf in the closet in the green and black snakeskin box. So these, I love these, number one, because I can walk in the water with them. Not these particular ones, because there's fur in it, but my other ones, yes! These suckers. These are the first ones that I bought, and I love them because they're platform number one, they're waterproof number two. I can look cute on the beach, go straight from the beach to the water, come back to the beach, and I'll be dry. But these are my new ones and the platform looks a little bit smaller, which actually it is by about, maybe like a half inch. Heels about a half, a, mm, heels a little bit less than a half an inch, uh, smaller than the original ones. So, oh Lord. I got a nine because usually I'm eight, eight and a half, but when you buy eights through YRU, sometimes it could be a hit and a miss with size. So this is what my shoe looks like. Boop, boop, boop. And they're super fuzzy on the inside, which I like. They're super soft. And they still have the holes where you can put all the little uh, crock things in it. Boop, boop, boop. Try not to fall. But these are the new ones. These are the old ones, which I love. So I'm out here frocking it, and frock is fake Crocs. But, mmm, so soft on the inside. I think these are a nine. Yeah, these are a nine. And my right foot's the big foot. And it's barely touching the end. So these two are a little bit different in sizes. This one has just a tiny bit more space than these but it's not something that'll hurt my foot. It's just existing. So I have to figure out what the name of these beauties are, but these are cool. My next shoes, since I'm a platform addict, these are like the Lord Campus. Oh my gosh, so I saw these shoes and I was like, how weird are these? I have to have them. So <laughs> tell me, are these not crazy? And they got springs. This is so, this is intense. And I feel like I could be like Mike and do some basketball. Ugh. Ooh. Pretty comfy. 
gotta get the other one on. I wanna see how tall it makes me. Oh, shoot. Got the stuff on the inside. Now, these are heavy. These are definitely heavy to the touch, probably because of the metal springs and all of this work on the bottom. Ooh, <laughs> these are crazy. They actually are like moon boots. <laughs> this stuff's crazy. Hold on, I gotta let y'all see this. If you guys can see. Sorry about my floor. Oh no, Q-tips everywhere. Oh, uh, we're just gonna pretend like that doesn't exist. Oh, I just hit my head on the box. But look, they do flex with the foot. They got a little bit of bounce. And oddly enough, the stability is not too crazy. But if you're not a balanced person, you might fall. But these are pretty cool. And they're actually very heavy. Not very heavy, but they they do carry some weight. But these are awesome. I cannot wait to wear these out. Look how crazy these are. I'm going to do some shoots with these. Boom, boom. And these ones are, again, Lord Campus. These are a size 9. The sizing isn't too bad. My feet... Like I said, just get to barely gracing the end of it. And I'm a eight and a half, nine. So these are actually really comfy though. I like the feel of the inside. The rest of the shoe is very soft and very stretchy. It's like neoprene, so it kind of contours to your foot. These are cool. So if you ever want to go walking, these might be some really nice shoes to get your butt and your glutes and your, what, your quadriceps and your... I was gonna say hieroglyphics. What is your Hier hamstrings? Your hamstrings all nice and and workable. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. <laughs> so those ones are super cool. These are the block mesh. So I really like these ones because <clears throat> they're a platform shoe, but then they also have mesh, so it's kind of like air breathing. They didn't have all the other colors in my size, so I had to deal with white. What, but white's super awesome. Why? Because you can paint white. So these, oh, I am so in love with. You can see through them. They got some air. Oh, and they're just so clean. These are shoes that you do not want to get dirty because I think once they get dirty, they're not trashed, but it loses the essence of it being a cocaine white shoe. Cocaine white. These actually run a little bit bigger. Uh, let me see the other two. The other two nines were a bit fitted. These seem to run just like a quarter of a size bigger. My toe has a look. My toe has a lot more room in these compared to the other ones. Ooh, I'm about to be sassy, child. Oh yeah. Try and get my foot in these. <laughs> these are Boston. Boss, boss. You find me on the couch, Boston. And they feel, oh, I like the fact that they're meshed because my feet are hot right now, but to have all this air going through is amaze balls. It's what they look like. These ones, like I said, are a lot bigger. I probably could have did an eight in these, but I guess rather be a little bit bigger than be too small. So these, the block mesh, they run a little, I would say a half size bigger. So I'm eight and a half, nine. It feels like a nine and a half, honestly. Yeah. Feels like a nine and a half, so I got a lot of room, which means that I can layer these with socks. Who would want to do that? But I might want to do that because if you wear colorful socks, they can be seen underneath. These are cute. They're not as soft as far as the sole of the other two, but I wear insoles anyway, so they'll have some comfort due to that due to that, but they are a little bit flatter on the inside. The other two, I do like the comfort. 
to my foot. Uh, I can't get it off my foot. Jesus. Uh, woo. The next beauties I have are Kazi Slides, Sunset Sky. Which ones were these? I think these are, these are my fuzzy slipper sandals and they have clouds on them. Yay. I got a bunch of summertime shoes. Ugh. These are so cute. Little sling back. Whoop, whoop. They're white fur, so if my mom or any of my friends know me, what? I didn't even know that they had a little flap, a little thing, thing. Also, I could put my foot in there and then I could just slide the little flap over. I like that. Okay. These are fun. That, but these are what they look like. Got little velvet clouds on the side. The top is soft. Makes the top of my foot look wide because my foot is so skinny. But either way, they're cute. They're, they're flat, flatter like these. So on the inside, there's no arch support or anything. So if you have arches, then you will really want insoles in these for sure because they're flat. Um, let me see. Oh, I think these are the last pair of shoes. Oh, these are the block silvers. These are my holographic iridescent babies. But again, because they are the same style as these, they're probably gonna fit about the same. So these are my sexies. Oh yeah. Gotta see what we got going on here. Oh. I wish these had a zipper so I didn't have to unzip my shoes or untie my shoes every single time. Feels like they have a little bit of padding on the inside. Ooh, these are so, ooh. These actually fit snugger than the other Kazis. Of course, I have a skinny ankle so it's giving me thick ankle vibes, but I layer. And I honestly don't care that my ankle or my calf area looks a little bit wider because the color's amazing. Now, the only thing with these that I do feel is that as you're walking like this, there's not going to be any of that happening. You're really going to be walking like this. The bendability is not existent. So if you walk, you're going to add more creases by doing this which I really don't want to do. So I'm going to have to walk a little bit more flat-footed with these. But they look amazing and they feel great on. They feel snug. They don't feel too tight. This one actually, I feel, is closer to a, a true nine than anything. I have a little bit of space at the end, but only a little bit. And they have the... Ooh, if I can get it off the foot. They have this little fluff on the inside so these make it softer to the inside of your foot contours your foot hugs it a little bit shows it some love without it being too tight but it's very comfy i think if i had socks with them they'd be even more snug which i don't think i would need socks at all because they're warm on the inside and i assume that this stuff might keep your feet cooler i don't know the experiment is gonna come when i actually wear these to find out if you would need to wear these with socks or without socks because we know how feet get feet get a little sweaty sometimes and we'd be like mm, we don't know how we feel about these but these feel amazing so as far as the ones that feel the the best to me i don't know where my other shoe went here we go these probably feel the best first off. These are my favorite. These are my second favorite as far as the feel. They're very comfortable on the inside. Again, the only issue you might have is the ankle and the flexing in your, in your foot as you walk. The platform, there's nothing wrong with the platform. The platform feels great. It's just because it's made out of uh, vinyl or whatever this is, you have limited uh ability to flex your ankle uh wool socks are the best wool socks yeah hopefully not in the summertime 
Because then your feet going to be real hot. But as long as your feet don't stink. Some people like hot feet in the summertime. Um, so yes, this is my first as far as fit and as far as flexibility, comfortability, and feel as you walk. Because like I said, these have springs. <laughs> hey, show me some cute thin wool socks and I got you. I got you. I will totally wear them. Give me some knee highs, some thigh highs, and I got you. Um, these ones are great. These are my favorite. The flexibility in in uh, the foot, the fact that you can bounce. It's like a bounce house as you walk around. So I could just see myself being a weirdo jumping down the street. I might break an ankle, so please, if you see any posts about me being in the hospital, just ignore it but i'm gonna be very very gentle in these because these are very tricky i was wearing them and although i was jumping in here i did hit my head on the bunk bed um but these feel like awesome and if it wasn't i wish they actually came in more colors so this is these are my first favorite these are my second favorite because they're comfortable on the inside they have a bit of an arch so I have a high arch. There's at least a little bit of an arch. So I could wear these without my insoles, without any problems. And I probably could still last long. The only problem you'll have is creasing. So you might have to walk flat like a little duck. Ooh, yes. I was thinking about that. I might, I'm going to wear them silver for a little bit. And then I'm going to get some spray paint later, probably in life. And then bejewel and dazzle them and stuff like that. These are going to get creases and probably the vinyl might eventually might eventually peel. So that's the only thing that you got to worry about these kind of shoes. So walk gentle, walk light. And no, you cannot jump drive in those shoes. I would not recommend it at all. It would be a danger hazard. Um, and don't run in those probably. Don't be active in them probably because you might flip flop your ankle. So these are my second favorite. These are my third favorite because I can't wear them in the water. So that's the part that sucks about them. But this fur, this faux fur is so soft and it's all throughout the sole. So you can have it all in here. Keep your foot warm and dry. And you can also put the little croc, uh, croc pins in here, which I plan on doing. The creases just give it life. Yeah, it does. But then, you know, the only thing with like the vinyl stuff is once it creases sometimes the vinyl separates from the actual coloring and then you have it breaking apart and peeling that's the only part that i don't like i had creepers that were like this and the toe right here where my foot kept bending it ended up separating so the plastic separated and then you still had the coloring underneath and then next thing you know the whole thing peeled off so then it looked like your shoe was going through ultimate hardships which we don't want that to ha happen um but these ones are my third favorite because they're very lightweight the platform's not as big as these babies but it's just about i like the fact that you can have this go up and down now this does the um sling back right here is not as uh it doesn't hit as far back as the rest of the shoe it hits where the it kind of hits just a little bit from uh, a little bit before where the heel ends. So it's about a quarter of an inch, um, if you can see, because of the fur. So you see the heel actually ends right there, and the sling back ends right here. There's a, a bit of, uh, what do you call it? It takes away. So it actually pulls your foot forward. So I think that was the other reason why I was feeling like it was fitted. Because with, uh, with the sling knot back there, my foot feels fine. But the moment that I pull it back, it definitely uh, cushions my foot to the fore. But then it actually keeps a hold of your foot very well. So there's like no, no extra movement or anything like that. It's not loose. And they feel so soft and fuzzy on the inside. So my fourth favorites are these because they're number one awesome but the only thing that i don't quite like about it is that there's no arch support but again if you have insoles then you're good um the sole 
has a little bit of softness in it, but it's not as soft as the rest of them. But the mesh is very soft. It's it looks like a like a double layer mesh. So if you've seen um, neoprene, usually with neoprene, there's fabric below, there's fabric above, and then there's these little hairs that's in between that kind of makes it uh, foamy or like squishy. That's what they have this mesh made out of. So it's like a double-sided mesh with a little foamy stuff on the inside. So it's pretty squishy. These, you won't have any problems with anything like creasing, but you might have the... Yes, I love these. And it's going to be very hard to keep these as cocaine white. So I'm going to have to walk baby soft in these and make sure I don't scuff anything because my favorite part to scuff, that's weird. Okay. My favorite parts to scuff of my shoe is my toe and all along the sides. Neoprene is an insulation. So my shoes will end up getting ru ruined here or ruined here. And also, me and stairs, we don't always get along, so I always trip and mess up this part. So that's what I'm afraid of for these, is that I'm going to ruin these the moment that I walk outside of the house. Not because I've walked in something, but because I've scuffed my shoe on itself. I have a habit of doing this and tripping over my foot. So I was like, did I just make a scuff? I didn't. Okay. I'm going to make sure I keep these shoes from being messed up but these are super cute the white is just very like in your face and make sure that you don't mess up this part because there's not going it's it's not gonna get any cleaner this part right here once it gets messed up it's gone and it's dead to the world so definitely keep your phone part clean because you can clean this for the most part. You can paint over this, but you can't fix this part. And of course, my last favorite shoes, it doesn't mean that they are my least favorite. It's just that as far as the fit, the heaviness and all that stuff, this is, this is just the last in my list. Again, this has very little to no arch. This part's cool, but I have... Don't wear it out to the clubs. Psh, never. I will probably be wearing it only in my car as a driving shoe until I get, like, plastic bags to put over my feet. Then I'm going to start a whole new trend of, like, keeping shoes cute with, like, bedazzled plastic bags over them. You watch. I'm going to come out there with it. But these ones are cute. I love these. They're flat. On the inside so the arch support is non-existent this is super comfy right here this part is awesome if you have a wider foot this will work for you I have a skinnier foot so my makeup girl this is an Instagram filter I decided to use an Instagram filter because I was like I kind of look cute it was either this or the mustache which I am going to move back to so this is my favorite filter just so you guys know so I hope I'm still cute and out here flaving. So, um, yeah, these, once they get white, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I can't feel my face when I'm with you, but I love it. I'm going to go back to the cute filter. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, these are cute, too. They are very, they're heavy. They're heavier than... So these are the heaviest, these are second heaviest. So if you don't, if you're not used to walking in heavy shoes, good luck to you. But these are awesome, they're super duper cute. The clouds here are fabric, which is super awesome. Has a little pink. They actually also come in black, black with uh, blue clouds. But I don't do black, I do every other color and white just seemed to pop a little bit more than the black ones did now the only problem i did have with these shoes is that um my foot is very skinny so tying this tighter can work but it makes my foot look fat from above 
So if you don't want a fat foot from above, which means that you'll be the only person looking at it, then, you know, it doesn't really matter. But they feel good. I can't put my insoles in these. So I'm going to have to see how long I can actually walk in these um, because I need that arch support. But they have good grips. It's kind of fabricated down on the bottom. So I'm wondering if this is, if it slides on, on like vinyl floors or like marble floors. I don't know if you guys have ever had it to where you wear shoes and you're on a slick floor and you just slide away. So I'm trying not to slide some oil to myself. But these are just the brand new shoes that I got. I'm going to probably end up doing a video of all the shoes I've gotten for from Why Are You? Because I want them to sponsor me. Why? Because I spend so much money with them. You know why? Because I have an addiction. If I buy five to six pair of shoes every single order and I've at least ordered at least four or five times in the past two years, well, no, uh, uh, four or five times, that's just because I buy a lot of other things in the past year four or five orders of five pair of shoes or more so my closet's full of platforms but these uh, these are my favorite i just really wish i had more colors this time but for me i'm like colors i can like wave on because the style of the shoe is just so insane that who needs colors I think it shouldn't be super slippery. I hope not, because I do have a pair from them where I just be like sliding everywhere and I'm like, oh shoot, gotta clench your booty cheeks when you walk. You know what? I shoot, I'm I just started talking to my family about that because I just also made a nine hundred dollar order with dolls kills. So <laughs> I have a problem. But you know what? I always look so good with my problem. So I can, I'm okay with that. But this is just a little short video to just have everybody join in on my excitement. And my excitement is opening shoes. I'm going to do earrings next on another video. Because you know what? My earrings, my uh, buyer, she does mystical buying for me. So basically I give her all rain. I'd be like, here. Go buy up a storm. And she buys things um, for our store. And the stuff is crazy. So I'm about to have that stuff popping. Y'all going to be mad because you're going to be like, oh, where can I get that? And I'll be like, oh, look at me. Like, this is where you come get it from. And then my buyer is going to be like, oh, check mark. I did that. And I'm going to be like, yeah, if you want her to like buy you stuff, then you're going to have to talk to her about that. And you're going to have to pay her for that life. So, yes. Thanks for tuning in. My mom mainly. Because my mom... I got you, mom troll. My sister, I love you too. Y'all be hooking me up with the vibes. Although I found this vibe on my own. But I just want to let you guys know. There's nothing wrong with buying shoes. There's nothing wrong with those addictions. So, farewell and hopefully your feet feel fabulous and look fabulous don't go out the house not feeling your best <laughs> um yeah so i'm getting off because i'm about to go get the rest of my shoes and go organize them because my closet has all of a sudden turned into like a whole mess so i have all my doc martens all my platforms and all my converse which doc martens I'm going to need sponsorship from y'all, too, because I done spent a lot of money with y'all as well. I got about a lot of Doc Martens, more than my hands and my feet. Yeah. So I love you guys. See y'all later. Now I'm going to save this video and see what happens to it. Bye. How do you get off of this thing? I'm so old.